Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, this is about geometrical physics and I have write down a question here. You will get the question in the description box, but uh, you can take a screenshot from here also. It will be the same. So let's dig into it and let's set fire. Let's set fire on the board. So here it says in a microscope, the focal length of the object piece and the eyepiece are respectively two centimeters and five centimeters. To get an image 20 centimeters away from the eyepiece. What will be the distance from the object from or what will be the distance of the object from object piece? So it centrally says you have a microscope like in here. Where do you have your two lenses? First lens is there and the other one here. Okay. Let's assume that you are looking at from this from this side. So you are looking at from this uh, this side and this is your eye. So this will be what, what should you call it? This will be the eyepiece. You must have seen your compound lenses, compound microscopes in your botany laboratory. Also, and this will be object piece. So, in the question given, the object piece, the focal length of the object piece was given FO, we call it FO, focal length of the object piece. And this is Fe, focal length of the eyepiece. That's it. That is why we call it Fe and this is Fo. What was it? Fo, it was 2 centimeters and this was 5 centimeters. Right? Okay. So, it says that you, uh, you must have keep, kept your object here and then uh, you, get, uh, uh, you get the ultimate, ultimate image which was 20 centimeters away from the eyepiece. So 20 centimeters away from the eyepiece, you must, uh, you, I think you know that you don't get the image, you don't get the image in between the two lenses. The ultimate image will always come out of the, come out of the microscope and let's assume uh, the image was in here. Okay. So what happened in these two things? Okay, we'll be explaining what happened in this. Uh, okay, what happened in the full process? It was two centimeters. What was uh, what happened in the full process, and how we can calculate the this? This was the question. How we should measure this one? Okay, the distance from the object piece. Okay, the object and the distance from the object piece. We have to calculate this length, and we are given this information. So let's dig into it and let's set fire on the board. So this was the information given and now I want to calculate this length and make sure that you have a calculator with you and let's see what happens really actually happens in a complex microscope. In a complex microscope, let's see. Let's say this was the first object, the primary object. Okay, now we need to, uh, we, we might end up with many things. This was uh, my object piece. I will write it OBG, object piece, and I write it as I. Okay, and this is your viewing angle. We are looking from here. So, what will happen? You want to know the you want to know the ultimate okay what happens when you keep an uh, object in here uh, with this length with uh, this focal uh, with this lens it refracts refraction is done and from the object to the object piece the object piece length uh, what do you call it? We call it UE, right? And the primary image, obviously the primary image will create in between the two lenses and the primary image will be in here. I don't know, it might be here or here or here, but it will always have to be in, the, in between the two lenses. And we call this length, okay, this is BO. So this is object piece, we'll be calling it VO and we'll be calling it 
U O and this is V O. Okay. And if this is the lens and in between the two lenses, so for this lens now, the primary image, it will see the primary image. It won't see the primary object. It will see the primary image and the primary image will be the object for this lens. So it will think that this is my object. So for this, we get U E because the eyepiece thinks that this is my object and this lens knows that this is my object so it if you first of all it creates an image in here this object piece creates an image here this is the primary image the primary image is the primary object for the eyepiece so the eyepiece thinks my object is here so i will refract it uh, where it will be refracted you know that when you uh, when you see an object in your uh, when you see an object and you want to see it 20 meters 25 25 centimeters away from your eye then you will get a clear image and if you get closer to this you you won't be proper you won't be able to see it properly so and you have seen that your eyepiece and object piece lenses are most of the time very small you have uh, used your um, compound lenses in your botany laboratory where you have seen this this length is so um, maybe this much so it won't be more than 25 centimeters ever so it, if it's not 25 centimeters long then and you have uh, you know you want to see the object 25 meters at least sorry maximum uh, at least in in 25 centimeters so 25 centimeters will always be out of the two lenses and you see that uh, the ultimate lens the ultimate yeah the ultimate image the secondary image or the final image was given out of it it was given 25 centimeters and what is 25 centimeters now this is the v e and this was u e okay now we will be applying this formula only that 1 by f equals 1 by u plus 1 by v we'll be applying this formula First of all, we will use not, not, and not, or e, e, or e, and then we will calculate the distance of u, o, and for this, we will be needed to know that which one is, which v is the minus, which v will carry a minus, will this v carry a minus, or the, this v, or, or this v will carry a minus, okay, so let's see. First of all, it's a shortcut that when you get a lens, when you have a lens and you have an object here and you have an image here, okay, see, for this lens it's you, uh, it's you, it's simply you and it's, and it is V. And for other lens, for say there, there is another lens, you keep an object here and you also get the image in here. Okay. So this is V and this is U. And which V will be the minor? This, this is our concept that you see for this object piece, you get the object and the image on the two both sides of the lens and for the eyepiece you get the object in the left side you get the secondary image also in the left side so they are both in the same side as mentioned here this is a lens where both the image and the object are in the same side of the lens and in this lens we'll where where we see that these are both in two other side two different sides of it or on the two hands of it or two hands of the lens so for this thing, memorize this thing, memorize or get a note that if uh, object and image are in the two 
and in the two sides or what should I say or in the two sides of a of the lens two sides of the lens then you get an unreal so you get an you get a real image or you can say the light rays are actually intersecting each other that's why you get a real image and for real image u is always positive u is always positive in every cases we will be studying u will be always positive and if you get a real image it will be a positive v so it will be a positive what was this this was positive and this was also positive because you are getting a real image and u is in u will be always positive and so this is the thing that if you get if the object and the image are in two sides of the lens then you get a real image this will be a real image and for a real image you say the v as a positive term and if you get if the object and the image are in uh, are are both in the okay, let's wipe it down and write it down again are both in the same side of the lens then you get an unreal image and we can say that the light rays are not you get an unreal image the light rays are not actually intersecting each other if we elaborate it in backwards then we get a image right in here that will be v and for this one u will be always positive as i mentioned earlier and v for this one will be negative so this v will be a negative one okay this is a positive v and this is a negative v so now let me now you tell me which will be the positive v and which will be the negative v you saw if you if the object and the image are in the both sides of the lens that was uh, happening here in the object piece so this v will be positive and this v will be negative one okay so let's try this as we have learned everything now okay so my informations were given let me write it here f e the object piece of focal length was given 5 cm and f o was given 2 cm and my v e was given what was it this length was given 20 cm remember this 20 cm will be negative that we have discovered or already that this is minus 20 centimeters and uh, what was given extra what was the other, the other thing uh, 20 centimeters mm. okay i forgot the question okay i forgot to mention one thing that uh, there was a uh, the difference between these two lenses were given i'll uh, i will get you i will get you the correct the correct question in the description box please get that from please note from there this length and what uh, what i call it the length of the machine so the length of the machine was given 16 centimeters 16 centimeters this was 16 centimeters we can see that b o and v e uh, adding up v e u e and v o we will get the 16 centimeters so this will be v o plus u e okay and other informations okay that was it so let's try to find out first of all we have the final image now we have to go backwards so we first have to use in we use the formula in the uh, for the eyepiece so for eyepiece we can say 
if e equals to 1 by ue that's 1 by ve we won't be applying negative sign here okay we will be applying the value and we'll keep the equation as it is so now we put the values in here so this is 5 centimeters this is 1 by ue we'll be calculating 1 by ue and this was 1 minus 20 so what we get from here ue will be okay i have calcul i have my calculation done so ue will be 4 centimeters okay so now you get your ue 4 centimeters this will be 4 centimeters i get it now so let's write the information here ue will be 4 centimeters now my works uh, i have already done half of the works that was for the eyepiece we applied this formula and we end up getting an ue the distance from the eyepiece the primary image of um, the distance of the primary image from eyepiece was ue that was four centimeters and you see the total length was given 16 centimeters and now the 16 centimeters and now you have four centimeters here so what will be vo that will be or you can see from here what is vo vo is l minus ue that is 16 minus 4 which is 12 centimeters so now you have vo now you have fo and what you have to calculate uo that was the question so let's apply the formula for the object piece now for object piece i'll be using o right in here so uh, fo uo vo so what is my fo oh uh, one more thing was the vo positive or negative remember the vo was in the v and the u the uh, the object and the primary image was uh, were in the two different sides of the lens so we will be taking vo as a positive value this was positive okay so fo what was fo fo was given two centimeters and uo that we'll have to calculate and vo we end up getting the vo as 12 centimeters so now let's calculate uo from here you will be calculating uo okay i have found out my uo uo has come 2.4 centimeters okay that, that wasn't that bad so i get my result that this one will be 2.4 centimeters mm -hmm. this wasn't a bad question at all i was i, I just wanted to uh, make uh, make you learn that if you get uh, uh, if you get two images uh, the object and the image are in the both sides of the lens then you get two positives the u will be positive and the v will be always positive and the u will be always positive and the v also will be positive if you get both are in the different sides of the lens and for this this lens this lens in the eyepiece what happened we got the primary image here and we got the fi final image here so for this lens the object and the uh, image are in the same side of the lens so that is why we got the ve as negative because it, it was an unreal, unreal image the uh, the light rays were not actually intersecting each other so that was it and I'll be doing a next video on this topic or I don't know whether I will do it or not but I hope you guys understand this okay so thanks for watching for more videos for more uh, for more videos or the the problems you have in your lessons please let me know the problems that you have in you uh, in the comment section of the group not in not in this youtube channel you are commenting on the group okay so thanks everyone have a good day